Um, but my whole mental mind state was in a whole nother, another place at that time because my mother had just passed away probably about maybe, well, back in, because this was in August, my mother had passed away in December. So, like I said, my whole mental mind state was in a whole another place. If she would have caught me on a, on, on a good day, the whole situation probably would have been a, a lot different, to really be honest with you. Okay, so what and actually actually happened to the whole situation? I had made a you know doing a barbecue for my friends and family and stuff, and um, it was just it 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 was kind of frightening at first, you know. Um, but you know, because uh, you know when the cops come, especially when a white woman calls the police, it's either you know we're gonna come guns drawn and protect whoever we gotta protect, especially when it comes to a black male dealing with a white woman. Um, it was it was it was definitely a nerve wracking experience, um, but my whole mental mind state was in a whole nother another place at that time because my mother had just passed away probably about maybe well back in because this was in august my mother had passed away in december so like i said my whole mental mind state was in a whole another place if she would have caught me on a on, on a good day the whole situation probably would have been a, a lot different to really be honest with you um but after the she called the police and everything the cop came cop was Man, totally cool. I mean, he came up, walked up to me. I met him halfway, and he introduced himself. He's like, you know, we got to, I said, you must be here about to call. He's like, you know it. So he said, look, this is what we're going to do. We're going to do a little song and dance for the camera because he had his body cam on. I'm going to go away. I'm going to turn my camera on. I'm going to come back. I'm going to introduce myself. I'm going to, you know, we're going to go over the whole scenario. I'm going to turn my camera off, and I'm going to walk away. Like finally, let's go. On, uh, let's do it. So he came over. He was like, "Well, you know, hi, my name is. I forgot the officer's name. Such and such. It's you know, per. It's not a a a arrestable or a penal code offense to use a charcoal grill in a lake. It's just only certain sections where you can use charcoal grill, and this was actually not one of the uh, sections. So basically, it was, hey, you can't use a grill here. Let's put it out." you can't get a ticket for it because what it is, there's no way to dispose the charcoal, no charcoal disposal bins out there. So that's why they don't want you to use it. But you know, all I'm gonna do, all he said is I'm gonna ask you to go ahead and put the, you know, put the coals out, but you know, you don't have to leave the park, you know, you just enjoy the rest of your day. So he shook my hand, turned around and walked away, turned his camera off, came back and laughed at the whole situation himself. Oh, it was hilarious. I mean, I, I even offered him a plate and a bottle of water. He took a bottle of water and just went on. He said, you know what? She probably <laughs> come back around here and call again, but it most likely won't, won't even respond. Right. But yeah, but it, 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 it was nerve wracking, you mm. know, like, cause I mean, what if my kid, I have two 14 year old kids. What if my kids was out there? What if we did catch a cop that was on right. a bad day? You know what I'm saying, and just was out for for vengeance and blood and all that other good stuff. I could, I mean, I could have died that day. I mean, yes, you know, seeing the whole experience on camera again, it brought back some memories, it brought back some laughs and all and everything else. But it's also, I mean, it was just also like a what a, 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 a 
eye-opening what-if situation. And um, a lot of people, you know, they made the jokes and the memes and everything about it. And, you know, my message was, look, okay, it's, it's all fun and games, but you have to look at the big picture. You know, we, we could not have been here no more. And, um, and then the lady who actually videotaped the whole situation. Oh, it was a different person. Okay, great. It was, it was, it was actually my buddy's wife. That oh, nice. Uh, I was out there by myself and for she was out there harassing me for about an hour and a half even before my buddy showed up. Wow. So my my boy showed up, I'm like, dude, she just called the police on me. And so um, he t took a picture of her and sent it to his wife. It was like, yo, if we get arrested or something happened to us, it's her fault. And luckily, she was right down the street. At the uh, at a restaurant down further down the street on uh, on Lakeshore, man. If you go look at a lot of the video, just the actual footage of uh, my boy's wife recording the whole, it's still on YouTube. If you go look it up, you will see the whole situation from start to finish. It's, it's hilarious.